kind of work uh, and today we went to Hurricane Ridge and we went to a few different locations and they're called polygons these little areas and we charted out what we thought um, had happened in the past like what what had occurred at those locations to maybe change the land the landscape change okay so right here is the wetness graph and it's for this polygon so it shows like up here is how like it's more wet and down here is it's less wet. So down here are the years that show like its wetness and you can tell that the like major event happened right around here because the dots are changing color and they like moving to a different place. Because if someone's not taking care of the fish, then who's gonna take care of them or who's gonna keep up with the population that's out there or what's going on if they're um, if they're like their habitats are being destroyed by when the dam is taken down and stuff like that. And I think that's useful to release the fish into the river so that they can survive there and fish them and stuff. I don't know if it'll necessarily like, work. How well it'll work in the future. It's just my, it's the only thing I thought about. It. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot more to be able to study, and there's going to be less problems with it. Uh, probably when we were walking along those little beams, looking down at all the steelhead and salmon caught from 08, 09, and all that stuff, learning about when they're going to dump the fish in the rivers. Uh, just a few days ago, I learned that fish can get sunburned. I thought that was weird, or at least that's what I heard. Um, and so that's why they keep them shaded um, at the hatchery. These little lattice work things. Do you want me to take pictures for you? Uh, sure. I already have some pictures, so. I slipped and I fell, 
I got one too. And there's also um, these holes in the ground that we have to remove. And at first we're doing them by hand, trying to really squint them out. And that was really hard, so we found out it's actually just the ground. That is just really exciting to learn how to do this. It's very fun. It's a lamprey, and I got it deep green. You know, as the class, it's really important to, you know, get out there and work hard together. It, it adds team bonds. It will really help our, our cheer at the end of the day. Today, we're just going to, you know, small trap all the way. Figure out how and when to remove things and, um, and doing all kinds of experiments on, on what can be replanted, on what has been, you know, stripped away. Because now there used to be lakes. And now they're not there anymore, and it's just a river flowing through. And so I find that very interesting, and surprising, and exciting. Over your cells, this is after you got it, all the seeds dropped in. And then there's some soil up there, and you'll just do a light dusting over it so it just covers the seed. No need to pack or anything. And then um, I made an example tag, so just make you copy the tag and put it in the, the corner there, and, and that'll be it. Is your life in danger? Transplanting. Transplanting. Yeah, You're so generous. Did you know that? I don't know what they're called, but well, working with young people is really fun. And um, I work in education and outreach, which means I'm kind of acting like a teacher. But when I teach people things. I'm actually learning myself, so I think that's pretty cool. It's something I enjoy. So, also, when I'm working with students or younger people, they're more inclined to ask questions about things, and so through finding those answers, I learn more as well. Well, we saw a lot of fish <laughs> and otters. <laughs> well, we didn't see otters, but we learned True. about otters. And they're poop. <laughs> we saw a lot of otters. <laughs> what about otter poop? They use bathrooms. What, what are they called? Uh, I got latrine? this. Latrines? Latrines. Yeah. Which are bathrooms? Wait a minute. Otters have latrines. What yeah, otters call? have latrines. They poop Where's... on the side of the river. Yeah, they have like these little bed things outside of the shore, you know. And they go and they poop there for a certain amount of time. And then they leave to go poop somewhere else. <laughs> And we learned how otters hide in log jams. And some and log jams are engineered for otters and other fish. Oh, oh, and you can track them by what's the that? radio signals. Yeah, elk, fish, and otters. Yep, they all have different beeps. Yep. I enjoy going out in the field with the students. They're, they're a lot of fun. Well, I, I had some fun in the water, but I decided not, I didn't have waders, so I just kind of decided to go with my shoes. It was very frustrating. So he's like, I can do this. We never did Okay, we better go. I got to drive a really weird car, a great big old Suburban. I mean, it's old school. <laughs> and uh, what else? Oh, yes, but you can't turn the air on and you have to roll the windows down. <laughs> and it's old school and it's wet and cold. And everybody's working except for me because I decided to try to amputate my finger the other day. We got Julie and Emily, Chris the Tube, and Stinky Bob with the crew. I'm chilling with the park with my friends, working with each other till the end. We work till 12 until we eat lunch. We all meet up and then we're in a bunch. We got Austin, Ian, Spirit, Ashley, Lashana, Hannah, Jenna, Julian, Kristen, <laughs> Emily, Rachel, Kylie, Natalie, Kenny, and Mr. C. Every day we work for three. We do our journal and then we're free. When the summer of course finally ends, we'll walk out the doors 
and our summer began, there's one thing that we didn't know that we learned a lot that Mr. Salinka told. What? what? <laughs>